My daughter has a mitochondrial disease and she had, was been affected since birth and diagnosed at three years old. She's affected by having a generalized weakness, cognitive impairment. She had um, failure to thrive, which means she was not gaining weight, she wasn't gaining height. She was in a hospital. She developed a seizure disorder when she was approximately three years old. That landed her in the hospital in a life-threatening situation, uh, essentially every month, uh, most of the time ventilated. On a scale of zero to 10, she was above 10. So very severe mitochondrial disease. People that are severely infected, like my daughter, have a uh, life expectancy of around two years, of two to kind of six years of age. And um, it's a, a chronic debilitating disorder that there is no known medical treatment for. They provided supplements to help the mitochondria function as best as they can in their hindered form, but um, there's no uh, treatment or cure. You know, we were trying to uncover any stone that we could to you know, benefit our daughter. We discussed Hannah's condition. We thought she'd be a good candidate to benefit from the treatment. Um, uh, we, we traveled to the treatment center. Uh, Hannah was treated. Um, she essentially, over the next year and a half, went from a kid that every other kid her age weighed more than her to her to uh, her weighing 90% more than every other girl her age. We had to cut her calories back. She went from a kid that um, could not go outside because she couldn't even tolerate the wind and the sun to a kid that enjoyed playing outside. A child that couldn't have a bath had to have a sponge bath because she couldn't even take being in the bathtub to a child that's swimming in a lake. In fact, we noticed an increase in energy. We noticed um, a decrease in her autistic features. She was a kid that would uh, sit in a room and dangle beads in front of her face. She wouldn't care who came in and out of the room, or if I was around or my wife was around, to a child that dropped the beads and cried when you left the room and wanted your hugs and affection. She has continued to make gains every day since she was treated. She has never regressed. She says no signs of organ failure. And these are all things that have happened to all her friends that weren't treated. In fact, she's had four friends pass away with mitochondrial disease. Hannah's future is very bright.